Welcome back to chapter 10. In this example, we now have a um, extended shape. And so the moment of inertia needs to come from the list of possible shapes that we discussed in the lecture video and that will be provided to you at the final exam. We need to recognize that moment of inertia cares about the shape of the object and how it's rotating. And so that's something that is the only real trick here in example 10D compared to the process that we went through in the previous example. So we, here we have a disk of radius 20 centimeters. So I'm going to start to list the given information just because there's going to be enough of it that we want to keep track of it all. So the mass of the disk is equal to 4 kilograms. The radius of the disk is equal to 20 centimeters. But we know that we need to turn that into meters, because we've been doing that since chapter 1. And so that's 0 0.2 meters. And then we're going to try to rotate the disk with a force that we're applying. So the whole force that we are applying here is 2 newtons. And the perpendicular distance from the rotation axis is 5 centimeters. And again, we need to turn that into meters. This is something that is not new to this chapter. 0 0.05 meters. Our goal is to find the angular acceleration. All right, so we have the real picture. Uh, here I've provided it from the slides. You should always be drawing that into your problems so that your notes and your Completed assignments are actually useful to future you when you're studying. I've made a list of the given information. That's our kind of normal step two. I've identified the unknown. Now we're trying to figure out what tool to use. Just like in the previous example, what we want to recognize is that the kind of information that we have is enough information to figure out all of the parts individually and then put them back together for torque equals I alpha. In this example, we have enough information for the torque from these two pieces here. So let's start with that. So the torque here is the whole force times the perpendicular distance. That's something that we discussed and worked with all throughout chapter 9. So 2 newtons times 0 0.05 meters is equal to 0 0.1 newton meters. And up here, we have everything we need for the moment of inertia I. Now, the moment of inertia of a disk shape specifically is one half times the full mass of the disk times the full radius of the disk squared. We need to recognize that that one half shows up only because we are specifically told that we have a disk shape and not a hoop, and not a ball, and not masses on sticks. And then we can plug in those numbers. 1 half times 4 times 0 0.2 squared, and we get 0 0.08 kilograms times meters squared. So now we get back to the original equation. Torque equals I alpha. So we put in the torque. 0 0.1 newton meters. We put in the moment of inertia, 0 0.08 kilograms times meters squared. The unknown alpha, we're going to divide both sides by the 0 0.08 kilograms times meters squared. I'm putting in the units just to make sure we recognize how they cancel. I'm not going to go through the whole process again. In the previous example, I made sure we understood how the units are able to work out. But this gives us 1.25 radians. Those appear magically over a second squared. That's what's left when we cancel everything else out. And that is our final answer. 1.25 radians per second squared for the angular acceleration of this disk. The only thing that was especially tricky compared to the previous example is that we had to know to look up the particular moment of inertia term 
for a disc shape. We do not have to memorize those. They're provided in the lecture slides. They will pro be provided at the final exam, but we do need to recognize that it's something that differs depending on the shape of the object. We'll see plenty more examples from chapter 10, but they probably won't look specifically like these. We're going to move on to new topics in rotation that are going to look like revisiting other chapters in the same way that this is revisiting chapter 4 and 5, but in the rotational context. We'll be moving on in the next examples to additional chapters that we're kind of seeing in a fresh light. See you in those next example videos.